two things. One, it is really hot. It hasn't rained in like two weeks or something and that's very unusual for a temperate rainforest area. But anyways, number two, number two, there's a bird's nest like super low in my cherry tree here. Where did it go? And all I need is a chair and I want to um, look inside to see if there's anything in it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <sighs> Hope I don't piss off any mommy birds. Uh, the chair I brought out is kind of rickety rockety. I think it will be high enough. Um, you don't know. Ah. Ah, gosh darn it anyways. Okay, well it's not high enough. So, I'm gonna go get a ladder. Okay, got a ladder. It's covered in cobwebs and dust and stuff. In the garage, it needs to come out anyways because the cherries are ripening. Super early, but they're ripening. And it's almost time to pick them. Okay, here it is. Let me show you from this perspective. It's um that mossy thing right there. And look, cherries. But it's right there and I'm gonna climb the ladder and look inside to see what I can see. There it is. I have to be really careful because I don't actually want to bump or disturb the nest. Um, I'm gonna lift my phone up over it um, and see what my phone can see. It's hard for me to get any higher because there are branches like right on top of my head right now. I don't know. Can you see me? I have no idea. Um, move the phone up a bit. Around. Okay, I just, um, let me move my hand there. I just looked at the footage I just filmed and, uh, looks like, um, Maybe that was a robin's nest and because of the blue eggs and it looks like eggs that have hatched so the little babies are long gone. I don't even know if they use that nest anymore. I suppose I could just like, you know, still keep it there because what if they come back? What if they're out just fluttering around and they need to come back to their nest and sleep and stuff like that? I don't know, but it's so cool. There's another nest that's up like, I don't know, 50 feet in the air in a Douglas fir, and it's most likely in like a hawk or eagle's nest because of how big it is. But this phone camera thing won't pick it up because it's too high. I might be able to pick it up on my other camera, but it might. Yeah, maybe I will. This will be a, a nest video. Nest video. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the phone thingy magic around and get one last look of that, at that nest and maybe take some pictures and stuff. This is pretty cool. Okay, I moved the ladder and decided to try to get higher, but from a different perspective. Ouch. A little branch on my head. Because um, I just really wanted to get a better look, hopefully without disturbing the nest. There it is. I'm going to take this leaf out of there. Because it's in the way. Yeah, look at that. Pretty. Okay, this is what looks like a nest from the ground anyways. Oh, bug on my arm. Right there. I'm thinking that's the nest. And I won't be climbing that tree to find out. Just from a different angle. It's as close as I can get. I want to see what's in the nest, and I can't. Nope. 